Today on Sure Foot Survival, we'll be replanting River Cane. So come walk with me. As bushcrafters, I believe wholeheartedly that we should conserve and also be stewards of the land. I had to go probably 25 minutes up the road to harvest some river cane to do other projects that I need to do. So when I harvest them, I brought them back to my property and I'm going to replant them on my property. So I won't have to go up the road for that resource and have a resource close at hand. So now stay with me and we'll go and get the area prepped for the replant. Okay, right now what I'm trying to do is try to mimic the harvest site where I harvest the river cane. And I went ahead and prepped the cane. The stalks was probably about, I'd say probably was six to eight foot tall. And I took probably about five or six of them and took a saw and at each node here and there was another one here. I left a section of it so each one of these now should become its own plant so let's start planting What I'm doing, I'm trying to space them a shovel length apart. And just removing enough soil. and taking my cutting and planting it making sure I get the 
node in there as far as possible. Let's go back some dirt around it. I want to get my first one set in. Come over another shovel length. Because the way they've been cut kind of gives you a stake of sorts and you can kind of pin it to the ground at the bottom of your hole. And just taking taking the dirt and just fill back around it. Back to the end. When I'm replanting, I like to uh, kind of pay attention to the weather forecast. I like replanting on cloudy days and a very high, high probability of it raining. So it, to me it kind of gives the, the plant to uh, heal itself. Before the sun comes back out. And of course, planting it close to when it's going to rain. Therefore, I don't have to pack as much water. And as you see, the ground is saturated. So definitely you won't have to water this. Here's my river cane garden. Hopefully if all goes well that uh, in about a week, I don't know if it took or not. I think it's uh, a good chance that it will take because I try to mimic the area that it was in when I harvest it. And it's always to have a, a close resource at hand. Hopefully in the next couple of years, it'll be plentiful. I hope y'all enjoyed this short video on me transplanting river cane onto the property that I live on. And hopefully in the next couple of years, I'll have a very good resource of river cane for other projects and stuff that I need to do. But thank you for taking the time to watch my video. Be sure to like and share my videos. And until next time. God bless.